And we are back. So uh, today I wanted to do a review of something I mentioned in the past, and that is the Apple AirPods. The AirPods are Apple's newest product, a much anticipated product, and a much delayed product. Um, the AirPods are Bluetooth earbuds, so basically they look like your standard white Apple headphones slash earbuds uh, minus the cable. So they use Bluetooth technology to attach, to connect to your iPhone. And they were revealed back in early September uh, at Apple's iPhone event when they showed the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. And um, it was basically their way of showing people uh, the justification for removing the headphone jack from the iPhone 7, which was something that a lot of people were, you can say, angry about. I mean, I don't think it's something worth getting angry over, but it's pushing technology into a new direction, and um, Apple is known for that. Of course, they removed their CD drives very early on. They've removed... Uh, numerous ports, the latest MacBook Pros that were released like a month after the iPhone uh, removed all ports except for the new USB-C port, which is very advanced and uh, has very fast transfer speeds, but of course it requires people to get new peripherals like external hard drives or dongles to attach like SD cards and all kinds of other things. So that was something that frustrated people. But back to the AirPods. The AirPods finally were released in late December. They are still on back order for most people. Currently, people ordering the AirPods are going to have to wait at least six weeks. Apple might speed up production and get people their units faster, maybe in a month. But um, I actually placed an order on the Polish uh, Apple Store and the American Apple Store the day that I heard that they were released, but even then I would have had to wait like a month to get them. I was able finally to get them, and I'm showing it here to the camera so you can check it out on YouTube, um, on researchteacher.com. You can search for AirPods Review and you can see the video of this too, so you can see that element. But I was able to get them from a place called iSpot, which is Apple's third-party reseller partner here in Poland. There are no official Apple stores in Poland, so places like iSpot are the ones that sell Apple products, and it even looks like an Apple store inside and all that. They did upcharge on it, so the actual price of the AirPods is $159. Add tax to that in a place like California, and it's around $173. I ended up paying uh, around $200 for these, so a little steep, but something that I wanted to get my hands on, something that I knew I would be using often and I have been using it often. It's been four weeks today since I got mine and I've been using them every day for at least an hour or two a day. I use them at the gym. I uh, use them when I'm walking around. Great way to listen to podcasts, eBooks, uh, even like YouTube content on my Mac. When I'm walking around my house, I'm cleaning, I'm cooking. Um, this way I don't have to have, you know, move my laptop around or move my Bluetooth speaker around. Sometimes I am doing something a little bit louder, so I miss something that's on the audio. But when I have these on, I I hear everything, and it's very convenient. They connect uh, to, the, uh, to your Mac, to your iPhone, um, so basically iOS or Mac OS devices. And actually, I heard that they didn't work on iPads. I'm not sure of that. I, I haven't... Uh, I don't have an iPad with iOS 10 on it. I have the original iPad mini, which doesn't support iOS 10, so I can't confirm or deny that. But definitely works with your iPhone and your Mac running uh, OS 10 Sierra, the latest operating system, or iOS, I guess they call it Mac OS, not OS 10 anymore, or um, iOS 10, the latest iOS operating system on your iPhone. So onto the AirPods themselves. Now what I'm going to do for uh, courtesy of the um, people watching on the video, I'm going to put these on. You can see what they look like. 
and I'm going to take my headphones off, so hopefully nothing weird goes wrong with the the audio when I do this. But, um, so here we go. And now I'm putting the AirPods in, and some people, they say they look kind of weird. Um, personally, I think they look fine. They look just like your earbuds with, or ear pods or whatever they were called, just minus the cable. So I saw a graphic yesterday on one of these Mac blogs that I read that um, demonstrated it pretty well, where one picture showed AirPods and it said, you know, looks weird, question mark. And then the, uh, it was like a GIF. And then the next thing was the exact same AirPods, but with the cord. And then it said, looks normal, you know. So basically it's, it looks just like the classic Apple headphones. I think it looks fine. Um, I think it's really cool because this stupid cord doesn't get caught all the time in um, in your clothing or whatever. So it's just much more convenient. So the uh, the AirPods they come in a white carrying case, and I'll show it to the camera here. The carrying case is basically the size of a floss container. So I use this Glide floss. It's almost the same size. The case is, uh, it's almost like a little mini Zippo lighter and it even has a little, little hinge mechanism that flips open like a, a Zippo lighter. You pop the AirPods in there when you're not using them and they charge. They pop in magnetically so you just need to drop it in there left or right side and it pops right in there. There's a little light that, um, that shows uh, either green when the thing is char fully charged or near fully charged, and orange when it's not fully charged. Or when you pop the AirPods in, it'll also um, illuminate orange as the AirPods are charging. The AirPods themselves last for about five hours without recharging, and then if you put them back in the case and then use them you know, over the course of the day and week, they're supposed to give you a total of about 24 hours of charge. And I haven't tracked it closely, but I've never had a problem with charge. So far, like I mentioned, I've had them for four weeks exactly, and I've charged the case maybe three times, maybe four times, but no more than once a week. So it's not an inconvenience at all, uh, unless someone's a really heavy listener, but I think uh, for most people, it'll be fine. I read somewhere some guy who said he got two pairs because he always wanted to have them fully charged, and I guess that's just an extreme example of someone who listens a lot. But honestly, um, they're going to last you as long as you need them to. Uh, there was some discussion about whether this was long enough, five hours. Uh, you know, people are used to having more on other Bluetooth headphones, but it's more than enough for 99% of people. Uh, like I mentioned, I wear them at the gym. I wear them walking on the way to the gym. When I'm walking, you know, around town, I'm going somewhere, I'm taking the bus, uh, and they, they're fine. The big thing that people were worried about when they first were released or announced was whether they would stay in or not. And actually, I think that's probably the least uh, problematic thing about them. Not that there's really much problematic about them. So you can see they're kind of in my, my ear. Uh, you can find all kinds of videos on YouTube and pictures and everything to see what they look like. And from what I've read, there are going to be some people where they don't quite fit right in your ear and they don't stay in. But that's just really up to genetics, I guess. Or maybe if somebody has just you know weird ears or, or something, I don't know. But I've never had them fall out as I'm just walking around, like not even close. The only time that they've come out is if I accidentally like snagged one on my shirt as I'm taking a shirt off or putting it on. Yeah, but that's really about the only only time. Like if physically some object touches them and kind of moves them out of place. But they can they are actually quite versatile. Like what I'm doing now is I'm kind of moving them around and they're all sticking out at different angles and it's it's not even falling out. But when it's in the right way, it's kind of uh, aligned with the side of your face. Now, some reviewers I saw, they kind of put it in. It was sort of sticking out, so it just made it look a lot goofier, which is stupid. I mean, it should be in and flush against your face. That way, the microphones on the stem of the AirPods are pointed towards your mouth, so they work better with Siri. And that's another thing about the design. You know, there are other devices uh, like the recently released 
Headphone by Braggy. Braggy came out with something called The Dash. I guess it was like two years ago. And that was the first real wireless Bluetooth earbud. Very expensive. I think it's 300 bucks still if you want to buy it. And the headphone is their $149 alternative and uh, $10 cheaper than the AirPods. But um, I think the, well, before I jump into the main selling points of the AirPod, the design-wise, when you have something like the Braggy, which is in your ear, you're not going to have as good of a uh, microphone recognition for things like Siri because you don't have a microphone pointing towards your mouth. And Apple advertises this microphone that's at the tip of the stem of the AirPod as having a beam-forming microphone that uh, isolates the sound coming out of your mouth so Siri recognizes commands better. The way these things work for Siri is that you do like a double tap on the um, the stem and uh, Siri will pop up and ask, uh, actually doesn't ask anything, you just hear like a chime so you know that Siri was initiated and then you can say different things like, you know, pause the music or skip to the next song or play album X or my favorite thing actually to do is to uh, rewind, you know, any precise amount of time so I could say rewind 25 seconds and it'll rewind like on a podcast I'm listening on. One thing that I don't like uh, too much about it is that it doesn't work well, the AirPods and Siri, with third-party apps. So when I'm using Apple Music or the Apple Podcasts app, it works fine. Uh, I can rewind, I can pause, I can do all these things with Siri. But when I'm using Audible, for example, Audible is an Amazon company and they do audiobooks. So whenever you buy a uh, like a Kindle book, and you see that there's the Audible version available. That's the Amazon's uh, proprietary format for audiobooks. And Audible is the app that you listen to the uh, the audiobooks on. But you can't do what you do with like the podcast app. So if I say, you know, I initiate Siri and I say, okay, rewind 20 seconds, it'll kind of freeze up and it'll say, sorry, I can't do that. And um, sorry, Nick, I can't do that. So I have to physically go into the app or at least the lock screen and, you know, click the little rewind 30 seconds button or, or whatever I'm trying to do. So that's one thing that's kind of disappointing. But maybe Apple will um, open things up a little bit in the future. But I think it's more of a business thing where they just they would prefer you just to be using Apple apps. But it really isn't too big of a problem for me. I just it's very easy to. Uh, use my, you know, my Apple Watch to just open up the uh, the controls for the audio, rewind, pause, whatever, or to quickly glance at my lock screen on my iPhone and pause it or rewind. And um, another little thing about the AirPods is that when you take one out, it'll automatically pause. So you can, um, if you're doing something, if you walk into a store, you have to talk to someone real quick. You just Take the AirPod, one AirPod out of your ear, and it'll pause playback for whatever you're listening to. So that's a nice little feature. Um, it's both, it's nice that it, it, it does that and it physically shows someone that you may be talking to that you're kind of paying attention now. Whereas if you had both AirPods in your ears, they might not know that you had paused the music or whatever. So um, in that regard, they are they're cool. Uh, I've had a few kind of weird connectivity issues. I think it was yesterday or two days ago, I was walking outside and the AirPods would lose connectivity to my phone, to what was playing there, while uh, my phone was in my pocket. And I, you know, I would take it out and kind of hold it in front of me and the audio would come back and I'd put it in my pocket and it would cut out. I don't know why it was, it had just snowed and it was maybe there's some weird thing going on with the the signal, or maybe some article of clothing I was wearing that was different than usual, but that was the only time that it really happened like that. Every once in a while, there'll be a brief cutout of audio, or there might be something like um, uh, where I'll press play for it to play on the AirPods, and it doesn't play. I have to press play again, and then it'll start playing. But these are really minor, minor things. 
the way that you switch between devices is that you have to physically uh, click on the in the control center, for example, on your iOS device and select AirPods. If you had previously had them selected, let's say, to listen to audio on your Mac, and um, or if you're listening, had been listening on your iPhone and you want to listen on your Mac, you go into the uh, Bluetooth button on the menu bar and then you select the AirPods and then it connects. So that's a little thing that you have to do just to select it. I wish it was a little more automatic where it would just start playing as long as the AirPods are on, it uh, you know somehow automatically detects that you have them on and you're listening to whatever the audio source is, but it's not quite there yet. I'm sure it will be in the future, but it's, um, I mean, there's basically no other product that works this well with um, Apple products. And I mean, even if you have like an Android phone and something like the Braggy Dash, I don't think it's going to be as good as the Apple products are. The unique selling point, one of many of the AirPods, is that they have a something called the W1 chip, which is a special wireless chip in each of the AirPods, which helps with connectivity, and it makes them more uh, a much more reliable connection that you're going to get with other wireless Bluetooth headphones. So I think that covers mostly what I was going to say about the AirPods. Um, you can watch all kinds of other videos online talking about them. This is just my take so far. Like I said, I've had them for four weeks. They've worked very well. I use them several hours a day. They are very convenient. I carry them wherever I go. This little carrying case is very convenient to store them. It has these rounded edges, so it just slips in and out of your pocket easily. And I can see myself using these for a long time, as long as the battery holds out. Now, they come with a one-year Apple Care warranty. So basically, since the, from the date I bought them, if anything weird happens that's not my fault, then I'll get a replacement or a repair or whatever. But after a year, um, it's just pretty much you're out of luck. If, if something goes wrong, you have to pay for a replacement of individual AirPods or the case if something happens. And that um, basically is the cost of the entire AirPods if you had to replace all the things. But I don't see myself losing these unless somebody steals them or something weird happens, but I'm definitely, unless something really weird would happen where I would happen to drop one of these when I'm walking around and it falls, you know, in a gutter or something. But like I mentioned, I haven't even been close to one of these falling out of my ear other than when I'm taking a shirt off or, you know, maybe a hat or something. If it accidentally snags against them, they might come out, but it just has not been a problem. So those are the AirPods. Like I mentioned, they are out of stock right now. It takes about four to six weeks to get one if you order it on the Apple website. But if you are into Apple products and listening to music and um, podcasts, whatever it is, I think these are a great, great choice. One little downside, I guess I could say, is that they're not at all noise-canceling. What I had before were these... um, Bluetooth uh, headphones. Here, let me get them right now. So here I have these Bluetooth headphones. These are like generic Bluetooth headphones. They're wired in that one earpiece is connected to the other with a wire, but you don't have to connect them to a device that's done through Bluetooth. And these were only like 20, 25 bucks. You could probably get them for like, I think it's like 15 bucks now online, which is really cool if you want to just dip your toes into this type of technology. But the nice thing about these that the um, the AirPods don't do is that they physically go into your ear canal. There's this rubber nub that goes into your ear. And what that does is it causes a seal so that it drowns out outside noise, which I really appreciated. Well, now I appreciate it because I realize how well it did it at the gym where it can get quite loud with people, you know, slamming weights around and music playing and all that. Um, And the AirPods don't do that. So I think for some people that'll be a plus because they don't want something sticking into their ear. But if you're looking for something that cancels out some of the outside noise, the AirPods aren't really going to do that. They do get loud enough, uh, but there are situations where, I mean, you don't want to play them too loud just for the preservation of your hearing. You don't want to hurt your hearing by playing these too loud. But it also, uh, there are situations like where I'm on the metro 
and it gets quite loud when the train starts moving. And even if I turn up the sound, it just kind of is painful to the ear and it doesn't really work because the, the train's going too loud. But that's a minor thing. Um, really, it's up to your, your personal preference. Those situations are few and far between, so I think it's totally manageable uh, unless you really are looking for a, a headphone that's going to give you noise cancellation. And you might find that in one of Apple's like Beats branded headphones. So that's it for my AirPods review. Uh, check me out, researchteacher.com, and leave a comment if you have any questions about the AirPods or if you have them yourself and you want to throw a, throw a comment on there. I'd be glad to, to uh, hear what you have to say. All right, I will talk to you guys next time.